Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Shark Anchor in Blocks Fruit. This is a legendary sword and it's really overpowered. Uh, don't question why I haven't gotten the mastery yet, it's pretty difficult. But I'm going to be going over every single step on how to get this sword, so let's go. First of all, and most obviously, you need to be in the third C. And this looks sick and it's really good for combos, so it's definitely worth getting. You need to be in the third C, and you're going to head over to the Tiki Outpost. Now, when you're at the Tiki Outpost, you're just going to need to get a boat right here. And you're going to take it out to sea until you find a Terror Shark. You can find a Terror Shark anywhere. But, that is not what you have to do at first, because there's something you need for a certain special Terror Shark to spawn in. So, I can't remember exactly where it is, so let me go find it. There's a little dealer somewhere that allows you to get the monster magnet. And it's pretty difficult to craft because you have to get a bunch of other stuff first. Alright, here he is in that building right here. So you're going to need to craft the, the tooth necklace and terror jaw first. Then the monster magnet. It doesn't require too much, but it's pretty obvious on how to get all these. These require killing sharks. These require killing terror sharks. These require killing piranhas, and these require getting fool's gold from the ghost ship events. Now, the other two items, the tooth necklace, you get this from terror sharks and this from sharks. And the other thing, the, uh, what's it called? Terror jaw. You get this from terror sharks, this from terror sharks, this from ghost ship events, and this from sharks. So it's all pretty easy to get. And once you get the monster magnet, you're going to need to head out to sea. And out in the sea, you're going to wait for a terror shark to spawn. The terror shark needs to have 195,000 health or more, and it'll use your monster magnet. So you're going to lose the monster magnet. After you lose your monster magnet, you have to make sure you actually beat the shark in a fight. Because if you do not beat the shark in a fight, you're not going to get it. So I recommend going out with friends, because it is decently difficult to kill. So you're going to go out with your friends, and you're going to spawn that in. Even better... But you need to be the one for your magnet to get used to. If you have other friends with the monster magnet, you probably shouldn't go out with them. Because that can make you lose it. So after you kill that terror shark, boom, you have the sword. It's that simple. So it's honestly a really easy sword to get. And it's just so overpowered. The 350 mastery move is even better than the 150 mastery move. I know because I was using it on my friend's account. I just never took the time to get it maxed out, because I don't even use sword stats. I just have the enchantment on one of my swords that makes it do more damage. But look, this is what Soul Guitar does to these two. 401 damage. And look at what this does. From just hitting one of them at 444. So it does more than double the damage of Soul Guitar. And you see how much damage Soul Guitar does when it's maxed out. So this does double the damage that Soul Guitar does. Which is really, really good. And the moves do even more. You saw that was almost triple what Soul Guitar did. That move right there. No, it was. It was almost quadruple what Soul Guitar... No, wait, no. It only hit once. So it was a little bit under double. So a little bit worse than the M1. Which is odd to see. But it does stun. So that was how to get the Shark Anchor. And sort of a little bit of a showcase. It's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.